Today we are going to study on submit event. We mostly use this event in forms, etc. Whenever we click on the submit button of the form, the form gets submitted and an event is fired which is on submit event. Let's do an example for an for on submit event handler. First of all, I need to create a form for that. So I will write in the body part that form then id is equals to my form then we have to use here on submit event handler which will call the show data function and this here okay then close the form okay so i have used here one id which is my form so that i can use it through javascript then I have used the on submit event handler to call a function called show data with this passed into it. Now let's write some input field here. So input field says enter name then input type is equals to text then id is equals to field one okay then break tag one more break tag okay then input type is equals to submit then value is equals to submit okay now the field and the submit button is ready. Let's see how it looks on the browser. Okay, here is the text field to enter name and here is the submit button. So when we click on this button, the form will be submitted and show data function will be called. So now we have to write some code into the show data function. So I will write the function here function show data then x okay then here you have to write the alert box alert you have submitted then concatenate with x dot field one which is the id or you can write x dot id dot value and a semicolon at the end okay now I'll save it and let's test the code refresh the page okay now let's enter some name into the field like Ankit and now let's click on the submit button okay we are getting undefined here because uh, you cannot write directly that id dot value so you have to write here field one dot value save it go back write Ankit so here you can see the form is submitted and I am getting the alert box which is saying you have submitted so when all the fields are filled up and then submit button is clicked then only on submit event will be fired if any of the field remains blank then this on submit event handler will not be fired now the next event handler is the onload event on unload event handler you will learn about it in the next video class thank you